Hey everybody, this is Jason. And this is Austin. And welcome to the LP of Banjo Kazooie by Tri Ace Gaming from Nintendo 64. Wait, by Tri Ace Gaming, you mean us or the people that made this game? I mean us. Oh. <laughs> eh, witty commentary. That's funny. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get started here. Now we just gotta pick the save game. There, that was fast. <clears throat> yeah. Favorite game for the Nintendo 64. This is one of my favorite games for the N64. Don't get me wrong, guys. Mario 64 was good, but I think this one, in my heart, has a little notch above it. Anyways, we'll shut up now and just let you see this. Yeah. Too good, too good. Ah, uh, Grimtilda. Classic evil one. Here's me. <laughs> no, literally, here's me. I slept till four o'clock today. Damn. What are you doing right now? Stay up too late playing this. To get ready for the LP, of course. Well, that's not her brother. I guess Banjo is suddenly Patrick Star to where not even to where not even the most loudest of all noises happening around him will wake him up. Nope, not at all. Figure out what the hell happened. <clears throat> Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Gobble Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. 
Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Yeah, we should probably hit A. We'd we like some help also. Eh, I don't care. Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. Alright, now. All right. So the game starts out. Basically, if you've never played this game before, we this feel... guy is your hero. His name is Bottles, if you didn't catch that. And what's going to happen is, he's going to teach you moves that seriously you're going to need to know. Problem being, I actually ran into a level where I had a choice of killing something, but because I didn't learn the move yet, they were able to torture me. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for those that haven't played it before. We're just going to start learning things, and I'll explain it to you when the time comes. Er, anybody home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They are on the yellow C buttons. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Deeky. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? <laughs> no, hold R to keep the camera behind your feather, feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next mole. All right. All right. And funny thing is, this is actually the most important trick here, because this is also a platforming game, so let me give you an instance. You're ramming into a wall like this, and you can barely see yourself, and it's screwing around. You're going to need to hit R to see, or you're going to fall off the edge. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's, that. that was the problem I hear with a lot of early 3D platforming platformers, where's the, the camera, because... You know, at the time, there wasn't really a lot of camera control, and like, even when there was, it was like clunky. Mm hmm. Anyways, let's get to the next one. Hmm. Your jump could do with some help. Ha! Huh. What do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump, and then hold it to jump higher. Come on, Feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Woohoo, double jump. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you can learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? <laughs> nice. I'm not listening. Hold Z, then press A for the mighty flat flat foot and jump. Hey. I guess that's where Jack and Daxter got its crouch jump from. Mm -hmm. And then half life did too. Alright, long story short, this is going to help you a lot. And yes, it's gonna be in situations like this. This right here. Like the heart containers from Legend of Zelda, they can expand your life. Anyways, we'll just have to collect it real quick. What you're going to have to do for this one is you're going to have to use a flat jump, and you're going to have to press the control stick to directionally influence yourself onto the platform. Pretty there sure. you are, literally just like the heart container. Anyways, I'll have him explain it. I am an extra honeycomb, please. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Long story short, short, yes, you collect six of them, you get another honeycomb, which would leave you at six. Anyways, let's continue with learning this stuff. I think that's in, you can find all those in the levels, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've played this, so excuse me for not remembering everything. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, oh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. Oh yeah, swimming controls. Alright, swimming controls, you're gonna run into certain things where it's better to do one thing than another at times. Anyways, I'll give you guys the whole rundown. Obviously, you start off by first jumping in water, and like he said, you die. 
Mm -hmm. Anyways, here he goes. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, which is this right here, and the wing can press B to use her wings. I think I think using B for the wings is more useful than the uh, the feet because you go faster. Wings are obviously better when it comes to speed, but what you're going to run into is you're going to have to pick up things in the water, and you're going to really have to turn around and get it. And what's going to happen is if you're using the wings, you're going to brush past it. What you really want to do is you want to kick sometimes, just so you can skewer over the surface and pick it up. You're going to see me using this in this LP. And yes, there is the other honeycomb. Yeah, in my opinion, the best platformer game that came out at the time, around this, around the time, had that had the best swimming controls was the was the Spyro trilogy on the PS1. They had some pretty fun controls that actually worked pretty well. And look, a molehill. Anyways, yeah. here's another molehill, and as you can see, they're very, they're actually very few and in between when you get to the castle. But right now, yeah, there's going to be a bunch because, well, obviously it's a tutorial. You got to learn the basics. And you learn new moves in every level of the game? Yes, you do. My beak barge attack needs help of an old well, At least, at least I've got some leg short stuff. Hold Z, and then press B for a powerful beaky barge. Does that actually does that attack actually come in handy at all? Besides certain parts probably? Actually just by the distance you can see, it is actually pretty useful. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Ha! <laughs> jam Jars. Ha ha ha. Long story short, if there's a villain hopping around and all over the place, sometimes it would be best to do that, but also, there is another move that you'll learn eventually. Yeah. Um, you'll actually be learning it in a few seconds here. Um, in this part of the LP, you're going to have to break all the rocks. And yes, there it is again, the other. Honeycomb container. Yay. Just three more, if I'm not mistaken, then we can move on to the mountain layer. Yep. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe. Attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? <laughs> Just right. try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Right, long story short, this is a move you perform standing still, and all you do is press B. Now, he's going to want you to do this on the carry. He's not going to settle for anything else. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. How many toppers are there? I question this. No, oh, there's no time. Now, try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Alright, apparently here's ball. Now the roll is basically pressing B while not standing still. Yeah. That actually does seem like more of the attack you'd use throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Once at the end of this tutorial, I will show you guys the attacks that you'll mainly be leaning on. I don't really think you gotta worry too much, because this is more of a pure collectathon platformer, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, pretty much, but you will have enemies along your way that will try to stop you, obviously. Anyways. What he what the what the game said, you jump and press B to do the beak attack. Yep, here's the beak attack right here. This is actually one of the best attacks in the game. Um, it has hitboxes at the end of his beak, and as you can see, he's stretching his neck out. That's kind of cool. And yes, you will have a lot of enemies that are in the air like this while in the castle in the game. You know what's funny about the name Banjo-Kazooie, actually? 
Hmm. Why is it called Banjo and Kazooie when Kazooie gets all the best moves and mainly does all the work? When Banjo just pretty much gets her to where she needs to go. To where she's the, pretty much the most useful of, of the two. Who knows? Plot convenience. There, that works. Yep. Anyways, this is the usual pace of the game. You kill an enemy, you get a honeycomb. Now, one thing you guys need to know is that the honeycomb will sit there the whole time. It does not... I think uh, they know that already. Yeah. It's just basically... This is for those that haven't played the game before and they want to enjoy it for themselves. I know, but I don't think you need to spend too I much... I don't think they'd be, uh... ...too worried about that at the moment. Alright. So here is where you can get yourself an extra life. Extra life and, I believe, a honeycomb. Yep, here's your honeycomb, and then the extra life is in the waterfall that you have. Woohoo! Alright, I think you just gotta learn, like, one more skill, and then we can head to the, the mountain lair, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying. Boot muncher. <laughs> not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain. And I'll tell you what to do next. Woohoo! Alright, anyways, long story short, there's gonna be another honeycomb around here, so we gotta find it. I always forget which tree it's in. It's the one, I think, I think it's the one over, like, past that bridge, to the left. Yeah, most likely. I think, I'm, I think that's the tree. Yep, there, there it is. is. Anyways, like the heart containers, you gotta get six, well, not six. Heart container, you only had to get five, but in this game, six. I think, actually, I think Twilight Princess did a thing where you had to, like, get five heart, heart, extra hearts. And then, or a piece of hearts, I mean. Four, four. Yeah. That was just weird. Mm hmm. Anyway. Oh, pfft. Fail. Sorry. Anyway, up to Spiral Mountain we go. There's a problem with the cameras, eh? Camera angles right there. Yeah, you get used to it. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah, once you get used to it, you'll get used to clicking the arm and fixing it yourself. Anyways, it stopped them for the last time. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. You sure are. Show us the way, Bobby Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Alright, anyways, guys, we're gonna head into the castle. And then I think uh, that's gonna be the end of part one for now. Yep, this will be the end of the part one for the LP. After we see this cutscene, of course. Sorry about that, that was weird. So anyway, I think we'll show you where the first level is, which is right here, right? Yeah. If any of you guys played Banjo-Kazooie before, you would know that you have puzzles to solve. Or not really puzzles, but yeah. Anyways, we'll just let Balls explain this. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. 
Er, uh, I don't think we found any of those yet. I think I saw one near the lair entrance. Come back when you found it. Alright, so yeah, I think for now... Okay, show where, let's show where the Jigsy, Jiggy is, and then I think for now we'll end the LP here. Yep, we'll end the LP here. Most important thing in the game, guys. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now, go and find a picture with a piece missing. Did that rhyme? I'm sure. I'm convinced that rhymes. Anyway. Anyway, guys, this has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Part 1. I'm Austin. I'm Jason. And we'll see you later.